a Maryland anti-gay lawmaker says gays are bad for children, and then he crashes his boat into a boatload of children. The Faja of Proposition 8 Archbishop arrested for DUI. Then, the kicker, here's the kicker. <laughs> An anti-gay activist and former school teacher is admits, confesses, to molesting children for 25 years. 25. Some of those kids are grown now. Mm. Yeah, that looked ugly. It's a post time. So here we go. As usual, constantly pointing out the fact that it's not gay people who are a danger to children. Look at these three. The molester and the cr boat crasher. Hey, look at those children. I want to say hi. Oh, shit. Did I run one of them over? Maybe the San Francisco Archbishop who was indicted for DUI will probably say the same thing. But, this goes to show you exactly what my whole thing is about this whole, this whole anti-gay indiv individuals who are saying that we're bad for children, and they actually prove the opposite is true. There's this poem called, Of All God's Creatures, Women Are the Best, and in Latin it says the opposite of this is true. And I think that this is kind of like that poem because of the fact that we're constantly saying every person, most people who claim that gays are bad for children, like the Louisiana pastor, I believe, who was caught masturbating at a playground. Ugh, kids are playing there. And here they go, talking about marching against gay pride and everything like that, and they're masturbating, watching a playground full of kids. Now, first of all, I would really be alarmed if I'm, if I'm seeing a person, a car, constantly there at the playground, and I don't know who it is, who's inside. It may look unfamiliar because, you know, maybe I go to that, that park with the kids every day, and me and my hubby, we go there with the kids every day, and we see that this guy is there just about every day, and he's masturbating. Blah. Blah. I love seeing anti-gay individuals get caught in a repressive web of their own making. And this is because they're just so miserable, but I never, it never gets old. Like that Puerto Rican legislator who was behind Resolution 99 to bar recognition of same-gender marriages in Puerto Rico. He claims he was documenting his weight loss, but I've never seen anybody bent over, show, spreading their butt cheeks to say, hey, look at how much weight I lost. Hmm. I'm going to just leave that alone. But take a look at conservative Babylon, and you'll see about this. Uh, you'll see about many of them, including women, who had intercourse with young boys who were their students. And that's disgusting because when I think about a teacher, I don't think about that. I mean, of course, every guy had a crush on one of their female teachers, but blah, just to actually think about the female teacher actually doing something bad is just disgusting. Because it is. It's disgusting. But it's funny how these anti-gay conservatives are get, get caught doing questionable moral activity when they think that we are the ones who have a monopoly on that. Have a great day, you too. Or at least queers are the ones that have a monopoly on that. Excuse me. Good day, you too. I said good day.